Well, howdy fucking do. My name is Willie Mammoth, the prehistoric coxman the gaming world needs, and today's episode is brought to you by Big Titties, because, well, it's my show and I like those things. It's one thing to terminate an enemy from afar with some well-placed machine gun fire, but when you want to make things a little bit more intimate, you can't beat a Hellfighter Bolo knife right to the gut. It's one of the most personal ways you can kill someone besides choking them to death with your bare hands. Seeing the life drain out of a man's eyes from the cut of your blade is a unique delight. Battlefield 1 has a variety of melee weapons available for doing dirty deeds in close quarters, and the close-range combat is one of the most exciting components of the gameplay. The knife is a bit of a compromise because it's a relatively low-damage weapon compared to some of the heavier melee classes like shovels, but makes up for it with a faster restrike capability and a larger hit zone. Now, I never leave the house without a medley of combat knives in my possession. I even go as far as to keep a Boker Wagner Urban pen knife concealed in my rectum in sticky situations where I might not have any clothing on. Uncle Willie's a bit of a wild card, and this happens more often than you might expect. Guys, remember to take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, because I'm just commenting about the game, of course. You never want to use a gun in a situation where a knife would suffice. Even the most heavily suppressed firearms don't possess the stealth capability of a bladed weapon. When you're doing it right, there's no screaming, just the cold, wet packing sound of steel cutting through meat. Taking out a sentry with a knife is a hell of an accomplishment, and if you can pull this off, you should give yourself a pat on the back. They say never bring a knife to a gunfight, but they probably weren't talking about Battlefield 1, especially if you're a sneaky little fuck like me. It's kill or be killed in a confined situation with a rifleman, you need to close the distance quickly and take away his advantage. If you're still with me at this point, I think I got you by the balls and I wanted to thank you for tuning in. Out of a near infinite combination of things you could be doing on the internet right now, you chose to watch a foul-mouthed mammoth disembowel Brits in a fictionalized digital recreation of World War I, and I think that's pretty special. Stick with Willie and you'll learn a lot. Today's lesson is you can't be scared to get your hands dirty. Whether playing knuckle knockers with little curly suit from the dairy barn, or chasing down a British soldier with a buck knife, you gotta know when to go in for the kill and do whatever's necessary to get the job done. Now don't get me wrong, I like to let my trunk down and have a little bit of fun from time to time, but more importantly I like to win, especially when we're talking about a knife fight. 